This is a biscuit, but it's very similar to your feet because in case of a crash from your bike, there's a chance that your feet can snap like this. And I know it sounds scary, but you would be surprised to know that foot injuries are a lot more common than you would think. In fact, they are some of the most common kinds of injuries bikers face whenever they crash from a motorcycle. According to a report by NSTSA, 10% of the bikers treated at the hospital had an injury to their foot. And a simple Google search should tell you just how dangerous these accidents are for your feet. No wonder, shoes are important whenever you are riding a motorcycle. Because let's be honest, a foot injury is not going to kill you, probably, but it will still hurt like a lot. But I wear shoes all the time when I ride. Yes, that's right. But the sneakers you wear on your motorcycle are not really that safe to be honest. In fact, sneakers like these are a style statement. They are made to look cool and they are comfortable to walk around in. But whenever you are riding a motorcycle, these things are not going to save your feet from any kind of damage. Instead, what you need is a riding boot like this. This is a sport touring boot, but you, they come in a lot of variety. You have the shorties which are about this size, they kind of look like sneakers. You have the tall ones, this is a tall one. Then there are adventure boots that are completely made for adventure riding. And then there are race boots which are the safest of all. But these boots are way better than regular sneakers whenever you are riding a motorcycle. And I know. They can be expensive, they usually come in just one color option which is black and they are not so comfortable to walk around in. But again, these things can protect your feet when you crash your bike. Now what is the difference between a riding boot and a regular sneaker? I'll tell you. Now the first difference comes in whenever you crash and slide down the road. This is where sneakers like these will not protect your feet because they are made from cotton or mesh or very thin leather which will be eaten away by the tarmac in no time. Instead. Riding boots like these are made from thick leather or synthetic leather which are very abrasion resistant so they can protect your feet in case of a slide. Now the next difference is the soles. Sneakers are made for comfort so they have a very soft sole which can twist like this or even bend like this but riding boots are made to protect your feet which is why it's hard to move like can you see that flexing them is very difficult because of the hard sole. Plus, boots like these and most boots in general come with a steel shank that run under it which will protect your feet from this. Basically, if you are going down the highway and you crash, there's a chance that if you are wearing sneakers, the boots will just do this and break your leg. But if you can see this, it's very hard to do. Most riding boots also come with different kinds of protection. The first is the toe cup, the heel cup and shin protectors. Now you won't find this in taller boots but in shorter boots you do get toe cups and heel cups which protect your feet from impact or compression. So that's a very nice feature to have especially when you think that you know our bikes are heavy and if they fall on our feet our feet are not going to hold up well to the weight. And on some touring boots and race boots you also get these sliders that protect your toes if you're cornering really hard so that's a really nice feature that i think if you like to go cornering you should totally have in your riding boots now the race boots which are the safest riding boots you can buy if you are not considering supermoto boots they come with a hyperflexion prevention system which sits over here it's like a hinge that protects your feet from going this way in case of a crash it protects your feet from breaking or your ankle from breaking and heck even though this sport touring boot does not have that feature, it is still quite resistant to bending the other way. See? That's difficult. And I may be nitpicking over here, but do you see this? I'm sure you've experienced this when your laces get hung up on the foot peg or something. This thing does not happen with riding boots because riding boots either don't have laces at all and even if they do, they usually also come with a velcro strap that covers the laces. So they don't tangle around so much. Also, riding boots are not just about safety, they also improve your riding performance. This is because they offer a lot more feedback to you. And like you guys know, if you're riding motorcycle, you need to learn how to communicate with your bike properly and riding boots can help you do that more efficiently. Now another be benefit of riding boot is that they are super comfortable whenever you're riding a motorcycle. Yes, they may not be comfortable when you want to walk around, but when you're sitting on the motorcycle, if they are the right fit for you, they will disappear. You won't feel like you're wearing a big heavy boot on your feet. Instead you'll just feel at home on your bike. But there are a few problems with these boots or riding boots in general that we can't ignore, especially if you are living in a place like India. One is that they are very hot to wear. Even though these are not waterproof boots, they do get heated up a lot and they somewhat cook your leg in the summer. 
plus they are not really comfortable to walk around in i mentioned that before and you can't always wear them to your office or on your tinder date unless you're going with a biker too <laughs> that's a different matter but the biggest problem i find with riding boots in general is that they are very expensive there's a high chance that a good quality riding boot will be more expensive than your helmet that's the case with me and that's the case with a lot of other bikers i know so yeah they are going to break your bank but they are totally worth it and they are essential for every biker if you are a biker you should invest in a good pair of riding boots because yes a sneaker is good but trust me it is not going to protect your feet instead it's better to bite the bullet and spend that extra money to get that extra comfort and safety and i know we live in india we can't do all the gear all the time all the time but what i like to do is i try to wear them as often as i can especially on my long rides i never go on a long ride without these so if you are worried about that then i would ask you to wear them as often as you can but always wear them on your long rides weekend rides or chai pakoda rides especially if you are planning to go fast or far remember crashing on your bike is a matter of when and not if so when that when occurs you don't want to be wearing a sneaker your feet will really thank you if you are wearing a good riding boots and you it will save you from a lot of pain and sure i'm not saying that these things are completely bulletproof and they'll protect your feet at all costs but it is better to have some kind of insurance on your feet otherwise you're just asking for trouble and i remember reading this somewhere on the internet that whenever you are riding a motorcycle you need to dress for the slide and not the ride and riding boots like these are just one part of it other parts include having a good riding jacket a good riding pant and good pair of gloves among other things but we'll get to that later right now this video is only about riding boots and why you should buy them and in conclusion please buy them they are really worth it bite the bullet i know it can be difficult for some people but if you can afford to buy a bike that's worth 1 lakh rupees then you can afford to put some money like 15% of it in a good pair of riding boots generally the best pairs you will find starting from somewhere around 15000 going all the way up to 50000 but a basic boot will do just fine just find the best pair that suits your needs and get them don't think twice about it they are totally worth it they have changed how i ride my bike because they inspire a lot of confidence in me and because i know that if i crash i have all the safety that i could buy and if you are wondering how to find the right riding boot for you because there are a lot of variables that go into it from sizing style to different things so yeah stay tuned for that i'll be uploading a video on it soon until then thank you and cheers bye